there was this whole discussion of late on uh, you know whether small caps and mid caps are overheated the regular uh, uh, the chairperson made some comments uh, i also must add that not everybody agreed with that view uh, including uday kotak including even uh, some people in the government i don't think there was complete agreement on her views that there is over in some sectors what is your sense of where the markets are right now as uh, you know because we are in a critical stage of the market and it's grown to tremendous proportions uh, what is your sense of uh, this overheating debate where do you stand on it so now we have moved from the ifsc to the domestic area it's always good ultimately we are in india uh, so uh, no basically for me the way i look at it is that the regulators of any sector have the maximum amount of information Uh, and so their views have to be taken very seriously uh, by everyone saying uh, that they make those regulations and then they see the outcome and also uh, in a micro basis given the way the data gets collected today at every level uh, so i would uh, respect the broad perspective which the the regulator says uh, at the same time india has come a long way in terms of uh, the stability of policies the the growth prospects it represents uh, and continual growth that is there like last quarter itself you were growing at 8.4% which was even uh, not in the wildest imagination of the best and the brightest or i wouldn't say best and brightest because they tend to bring you down but uh, at least the most optimistic economists were talking about 6 and a half 7% growth rate and you are suddenly coming out with 8.4% uh, that tells you that there is a tremendous amount of growth momentum Uh, that is building up and uh, if the results of the uh, elections come to what the markets expect you will see uh, even further growth uh, going forward uh, in infrastructure building in terms of industrial activities the pli framework that has come in uh, including setting up of uh, chip plants to ev plants to uh, yesterday only i was reading in fact today morning yesterday a uh, lithium mine started somewhere in jharkhand Uh, and so in, we were hoping it will happen in jammu mm. because the largest lithium um, sort of thing came out in jammu but instead jharkhand mm. uh, or probably chatisgarh started the lithium mine so the amount of action uh, is phenomenal uh, it will take off uh, the background has been built uh, probably next 5 10 years are uh, for india to actually uh, grow much faster than what it has done over last Uh, 15 20 years but, but there were pockets of concern uh, on the in the economy uh, also ashish because even today even while there is talk of some froth in the system some uh, you know small cap mid caps etc being uh, overheated there is also the real uh, problem of the msm uh, sector being under stress even today i mean after the tremendous in covid they are still struggling to come back to what they used to be and they are one, you know one third of the economy so uh, where do you see that is that a contradiction uh, in terms of or do you think that is uh, you know working well and they are coming back now i have a different take on this see when uh, there is a great churn that is happening especially because of the way the technology is changing the changes are going to be very rapid some sectors of the economy are going to grow much faster uh, than what we can perceive today and many of them may not have existed those sectors may not have even existed 5 years back mm. or 10 years back so we are not even looking at them and those those sectors start growing so fast that we could not have imagined mm. and the sectors which uh, are traditional may not be able to create that kind of wealth mm. uh, and the mind, basically we need to keep in mind that china is going through some serious deflation in the real estate uh, they have issues even in their uh, industrial capacity which is way beyond what they can use so they are actually pretty much dumping uh, most of the products so all industrial capacity uh, in some ways are going to not be that uh, profitable even if you put dumping duty one of the larger uh, demands which i get today also from here but also from other people i meet across over last few weeks is that Uh, the amount of dumping that is going to happen or that's already started happening by china uh, and you were europe, europe which is like in a way very free market types at least when they talk to us not to china but uh, even they are trying to put in dumping duty on chinese evs and other stuff america is starting how do we not do that on steel and other stuff so that's where for me the industrial sector uh, may grow in terms of the volumes but may not have the profitability growth in some some of the pockets 
well as other areas which are growing uh, which currently are not in our radar might grow faster so aggregate we might go very fast but some sectors may look like that there is some uh, sort of lack of growth and some of them may end up doing so well that uh, you wouldn't be able to imagine but overall if you continue to grow seven and a half eight percent then pretty much we are uh, and for a longish period uh, we should be able to reach the targets that we want to reach